What happened to Sharice Pempenko? What are they up to now? Are they still famous? Hey guys, it's Tori, and for today's What's Hot Topic, I want to talk about Sharice Pempenko. Sharice began her career on Little Big Star at 12 years old. Little Big Star is a show in the Philippines that's kind of like American Idol. And for the lack of keeping it short, she didn't do well in the show at all. She got eliminated after the first performance and then was brought back as a wild card. She ended up winning third place though, so it's kind of okay, but then she fell off the face of the earth after that. So then a popular YouTuber began posting her videos of her performances on YouTube and she became a someone around 2007 after the show. After that, she was basically an internet sensation. She performed on shows like Star King in South Korea, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, The Paul O'Grady Show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, and she even performed on Asia's Got Talent at the live finale. Ooh, and get this, she performed with Celine Dion. Crazy, right? Now like, let's back up to the Asia's Got Talent finale because that wasn't exactly planned. So she went to visit her mentor, David Foster, and since he was a judge in the show, he had her perform just for fun and even performed with her. If I can be with you tonight. A lot of people said that this was one of the best Asia's Got Talent performances like ever. Can you believe that? She was known as one of the greatest voices of Asia at the time. But her career didn't dull there. She was also a judge in X Factor Philippines back in 2012. Oh yeah, if she looked familiar to you, you probably saw her on Glee. Roll a clip. Shut up! During this time, she released three albums. Charisse, the deluxe version, Chapter 10, and Car I don't know how to pronounce that one. Catharsis. But it kind of seems like during this time, Charisse was doing more than just putting out her music. She also was finding herself in the best way possible. In 2013, Sharice came out as gay to a Filipino TV show. She said, Ton Bayoko. I am so sorry for just butchering that in Tagalog. Topo. Tomboy po ako. Ton Bayoko translates to, I'm gay in English. So basically, she came out in live television. She came out as a lesbian. That's pretty cool. She never looked back after that. Well, during her time of self-discovery, she also realized that she didn't quite feel like the pronouns she or her happened to fit the best. In 2017, Sharice transitioned into Jake Zyrus. He came out as a transgender man. Now, side note for the rest of this what's hot, I will only be referring to him as Jake. I will no longer be using his dead name, just had to put that one in there. So although the majority of his fans were happy and supportive of him and his transition, his grandmother went on Facebook and said why she would never accept him under his new name. Yikes. That one hurt to read about, and I'm so sorry that happened to you. In a 2017 interview, Zyrus talked about how he hadn't spoken to his family since his name changed. He told the interviewer that he and his family aren't fine, but they're normal. And he also spoke about how he's sure that his family isn't the only one who has gone through this. And that just must be really hard. And I hope his family is all right now. A few weeks ago, Jake sat down with Tony Talks here on YouTube and they chatted about his transition. He mentioned how Jake has always been within him, even before Little Big Star. So deep down, he always knew that he didn't identify. And I remember, you know, like my brother and I would play like role playing games where I would be his bodyguard <laughs> and I would give myself like names, Jeric or something, but definitely I knew. Jake talks about how even though he's known for a while, he didn't want to seem ungrateful with his new fame, even if it meant he was uncomfortable in his own skin, which is crazy to think about. Now, trigger warning, this next part of the video does contain talk about suicide. If this does affect you, Here's the time code that you can skip to. Please skip it if it does affect you. Jake opened up about becoming suicidal and unfortunately attempting to end his life multiple times. He had a lot of weight on his shoulders at a very young age and the pressure built on him. It's a very, 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 very bad place to be. 
because the moment that you feel that is like you don't see anything else anymore. You just have one thing that's decided and that's like right in front of you, end it. The last time he tried to commit suicide, David Foster was there when he woke up. Jake remembered Foster asking if he's okay and if he could perform that night, but he said, you don't have to. You're asking if he can perform on his deathbed? Are you serious? The show really didn't need to go on that badly, I'm just saying. Jake did admit that Foster is one of the first people who knew about his transition. Now, Jake chose to perform that night, and Foster didn't make him wear a dress. Sharice was feeling a little funky this afternoon with in her stomach with some, some food that she ate, and I thought we'd take out a song today, but you are rocking tonight. You are, like, snap back. Awesome. Well, you know. That was the first time Jake was able to wear something that he was actually comfortable in on stage. We're so happy that he was able to find his comfort and still have his successful career. Since his transition, he's released a new album called Evolution along with other singles. He even put out a single called Fix Me, which came out in May. This single was so big and it was such a hit that Cyrus became the first Asian solo singer in history to land on the top 10 of the Billboard 200 chart. He even got to perform his song in New York City for Pride Month, which was really cool. Cue the music. Cyrus's vocals are very different after his transition, but not in a bad way at all. In the comments of a video comparing Cyrus's vocals, Fans were mentioning how they feel like, insert dead name here, is now fully dead. Why would you say that? Other people in the comments were saying to give him some credit since he had to relearn to sing after the transition. There were a lot of negative comments on this video. Like, a lot. It made me so sad to see this too, since Cyrus is clearly more comfortable in his body now. One fan summarized perfectly how I felt after seeing these comments. They said, both his female and male vocals are beautiful. I think Jake looks more comfortable and settled and very happy. Hey, internet, can you let someone be happy for once? No. Nope. Overall, Zyrus has had a ton of success even after his transition. He's put out a bunch of music and with 207,000 followers on Instagram and 1.1 million followers on Twitter, I think he's gonna keep going putting out music for a lot longer. I think it's great that Zyrus was able to use his platform to show fans that it's okay to be comfortable in your own skin. That is like the most important thing. He's a huge advocate on being happy with yourself and is a great role model for people who might not feel completely comfortable in their own body. Although he does get some hate, he is able to overcome it and still has an amazing voice and amazing career no matter his gender. Congratulations on finding yourself, Jake. We couldn't be any more proud of you. Let me know down below if I missed anything about Jake Cyrus and his career or his transition. There was so much and I only could fit certain pieces into this story. Let us know if there's anyone else you'd like us to take a look at and we'll tell you guys where they are now. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Corey Caesar. And while you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to always stay updated on your favorite competition shows and their stars. Psst. Also, don't forget to check out our new website at talentrecap.com. It's really cool. You can see stuff I wrote, take quizzes, and more. And that's what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below and then we can talk.